Now did you know that you can actually turn Canva into your personal prompt engineer. Turn Canva into a prompt generator itself. This works fascinatingly well. That's right. You can make Canva your own personal prompt engineer. You could use these prompts in ChatGPT or create amazing AI images in tools like Leonardo AI, Midjourney, or Adobe Firefly. So what I'm going to show you today is a cool little trick that you can use to turn Canva into your AI prompt generator. For over 100 prompts. Click the link in the description. You can do it with a simple prompt or a longer prompt, but make it more effective and have Canva completely rewrite it. And I think you might be pleasantly surprised by the final product and images that you'll end up with. Check this out. So the first thing you might be asking yourself is, well, I kind of need a prompt to begin with. So where can I find some very good prompts? On my blog right here at metricsmule.com slash blog, if you go to any of my blog posts throughout my whole entire website, I have about a thousand prompts that you guys can use and copy and paste and then use them for yourself. Just come to any page over here on my blog post and then just go through a few of these by clicking on these drop boxes and then the ones that are going to be featured on YouTube will be underneath headings like this and you can just come in here and then just copy and paste many of these prompts. And then this page over here also has about a hundred prompts on this page just by itself. But what I'm going to do today is actually go to my Mega Airtable database which I'll put a link in my description for some web pages but also if you want to get access to this prompt Mega Database and I hope to have about 5,000 plus on here very soon. I add new prompts to it every single day. So let me just click on this one right here, okay, where it says, in the vast expanse of unknown space, a lone astronaut floats aimlessly throughout space. So then the next thing I'll do is I'll come over here in the Canva and then I'll select Docs. Go to Start Writing. Simply just paste in the prompt that we just copied. Now, all you want to do next is go ahead and then just highlight this and now click on Magic Write. Now check this out. This is where all the magic happens, pun intended. So we can either do continue writing, summarize, rewrite, more fun, more formal, or sprinkle fairy dust. Now what I'm showing you right now is a longer prompt to where we're going to use this with. But stick around because wait until you see what it can do when I give it a very short and minimalistic sort of prompt. It could take a prompt as simple as just a few words in one sentence and then greatly expand on it and really give you that highly detailed level prompt that you might have been looking for. So now we're back over here on Canva. What I'm going to do next is just hit my favorite sprinkle fairy dust. It literally just takes the prompt and then rewrites it and makes it pretty cool right here. So check it out. Now we can compare the first one with the second one. Now it is pretty different. That's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and then take this again and then now hit magic right. And then this time I'm going to go ahead and then do rewrite. And you could do all of these different options by clicking and highlighting them, clicking on Magic Right, and then even hitting Summarize, you can get one as well. And so I just created three more extra prompts that will copy and paste and then try right now in real time. And so the first thing I'll do is I'll come over here to Leonardo AI and I'll paste this prompt in and I'll use Albedo Base XL with the Cinematic Alchemy preset. But then, I went ahead and already added this same exact prompt over here in the mid journey. Now check this out. So this is what Canva made for me. And here is the mid journey results right here on my screen. Look at this right here, man. So this was the Canva prompt generator summary. And look at this right here. This is pretty cool. So this was made in mid journey with the Canva one. And it was this very first one right here. This was the summary. Okay. Now, if I go over to Leonardo AI, I have it also posted over here. I'll hit generate here. Look what it gave me right here. Fascinating. I used Albedo base XL. And then I got these extremely realistic looking ones of this astronaut aimlessly just floating in space. Great job. Now let's go back over to mid journey and then see what it did for the second prompt that we copied and pasted. Now check this out right here. This is pretty cool. If I open up in browser, look at this one that it made for me. So a completely different level look and characteristic of an image, but it all started with one prompt, but then I used the Canva magic write command. And then I got a whole new set of prompts to use. Pretty impressive. I told you earlier, let's see what it can do with something just relative simple and that's what I have right here so I have a portrait of a woman blue hour let's go over and copy and paste this simple prompt we'll go over back to Canva within the same document is fine and then just go ahead highlight the portion and select magic right and now do continue writing now check this out now continue writing it went from portrait of a woman blue hour to this long and detailed prompt the painting portrays a woman in the midst of the blue hour the period of twilight that occurs just after 
sunset or just before sunrise. This looks pretty good so far. However, there's one thing I do want to change. So the second word says painting. I don't want a painting. I'm sure it's going to look good, but I'm going to go ahead and then just put a photo and I'm going to add just photo realistic photo to it. Okay, so I have the photo realistic photo portrays a woman. Let's go ahead and then just copy this whole entire prompt right here and now take this over to we'll try this out in mid journey as well and I'll paste this prompt in and then at the end I always like to add the preset AR 16.9 because I like that YouTube thumbnail style image and then I'll take that same exact prompt and we'll come back over here into Leonardo AI and then try this as well. We'll try it with Albedo Base XL and then let me again, let me change the dimensions of the photo here to 1360, 768 and I'll change it up from photography and now I'll do generate another one in the Albedo Base XL. But the cool thing I love about this very short prompt in Canva is that it really shows you how smart Canva is. Again, I just put portrait of a woman blue hour and look at Canva's rewritten response right here. It understood immediately what blue hour was because it said blue hour, the period of twilight that occurs just after sunset or just before sunrise. Impressive. And then it continues with subtle shades of blue and lilac that color the sky during this time, creating a dreamlike atmosphere. Man, I gotta tell you, so just this one simple sentence, not even a sentence, a series of words, Canva generated this very long detailed prompt. Let's go ahead and see what it came up with. Now, the first one over here in Leonardo AI, look at this right here, it did just that. Perfect image, and it matches the description of the prompt perfectly. The sky has that blue tone, lilac, and it is at like dusk, twilight hour. Exceptional job. Both these images right here look fantastic. And then the next ones we have in Leonardo AI is look at this one right here. This is just as good. She's at the beach and I had this one over here. Fantastic. Everything is exactly as described. It's going to be that twilight hour with those lilac and blue tones. Even the eyes and clothing have that same sort of color palette. I love it. Let's go back over here to mid journey and then let's see what mid journey made for us as well. Look at this one right here. Oh man, this is fantastic as well too. I'll expand the mid journey one. And then again, it got it exactly right. Canva got it right which led to Leonardo AI and Midjourney getting everything exactly right. Perfect. So you can do this with any prompt, not only any prompt, but any sort of idea. So I first started with a actual prompt and I had Canva kind of rearrange it, rewrite it, make it a little bit better. But not only that, if you just give Canva a series of words, a thought, anything like in this case, a portrait of a woman blue hour period, it's going to generate a magical prompt for you to use. And then you could see from these examples right here, it did a fantastic job making these images exactly the way we wanted them to look. I've tried this with numerous images and a lot of different prompts in Canva and it gets it just about right almost every single time. So let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.